Today we're going to show you the functions of a manual awning versus a power awning. Uh, you push in the clips like so, and there's a knob on each arm itself. Uh, at that point, you have loosened, everything's ready, as long as both arms are taken care of. You'll take your awning rod and flip the lever in the down position. Tim, I'll let you unroll. Go ahead, you can start pulling out. Perfect, leave it there, Tim. At this point, you will take your arms, go ahead and pull that arm up, Tim. You will hold down. Tighten this knob back. This keeps the wind from being able to push the awning back up. Go ahead and tighten that knob. So now the wind can't take over and push the awning back up. And we can adjust our awning height. You see the last knob? Set up. You can move the tether cord out of the way and tie it off. That way it's out of the way. If you choose to disconnect the awning arm for traffic flow, you can do like so and anchor the awning rod into the ground and secure it. That way you have easy flow of traffic. down in the down spot. Tim, come back down here to the telecord with your holding rod. Alright, what well, about popping the top? I'll get it. We're shutting the awning. We're going to loosen the knob. Never pull this. Always push from the back side. That way you can release the awning. simple process is I stand inside, press the button, and this awning retracts out with the motor itself. That way it's only need for one person for this operation instead of two people. Once the awning is extracted out, we'll tighten the knobs on both ends. That way the wind can't blow the awning back in. And if it's a windy day, I would suggest not putting the awning out if it's more than 10, 15 miles per hour. Uh, but at this point, power awning is a very nice luxury to have. Uh, it is an upgraded feature versus the manual awning. As far as shutdown, of awnings, uh, white, black, also granite, brandywine, blue, green, and checkerboard. And that's how you operate your power awning. 